still hanging out in the neighborhoods of uh, suburban Dipive Valley or whatever. I don't know. Where do we go in on this place? I guess not right there. It's funny. I don't know. I'm going to guess we haven't been through this one, but, you know, sometimes I look at a place and I'm like, yeah, I see the trash. We haven't gone through it, so we probably haven't gone through this one. Maybe. Maybe. I'm going to say chances are looking pretty good on this one that we have not gone through. Um, what? Oh, okay. My bad. I guess I just didn't realize. It's fine. You don't... Never mind. I was going to say you don't see the big glowing torch. Aha! If I hit you in the knee, then you will bend over and I can hit you in the head. Or something. That's the plan anyway. Smashy, smashy. I'm just going to retreat. Okay, perfect. Just kind of going through some houses here looking for, I don't know, whatever. Just kind of random stuff. I've actually found quite a few books in the last couple of days, which is pretty handy. And then, no, that didn't, that door doesn't have a doorknob because it was a junky pretend door, I see. But I think we've actually found some pretty decent stuff, enough that I feel pretty good about going through these kinds of POIs versus going through something that's maybe a little larger, a little more established in terms of construction and uh, knowing full well that you're going to get a bunch of gun store boxes, etc. The reality is we don't really need much for weapons. At this point, we just need building materials. I mean, really, that's, that's kind of what it comes down to. We just need building materials and, uh, you know, books. I'll always take schematics if we can find those. Okay, don't let her know we're here. Really? You're weird. Here, let me put that down. Don't get rid of my doors. I want the brass. I want the doorknobs. Okay. Come on in, biker guy. Meanwhile, turret, how are you doing on... Oh, crap. My bad. Madam. Sir. All right. We got to go loud. I need to loud this up. Okay. Turret, I was going to ask you a question. How are you doing on ammunition? Pretty decent, it seems. Okay. Let's just go ahead and chop that door down. I'm trying to be better about remembering that, you know, you can totally get doorknobs off of... Come on. Off of doors. I mean, duh. But, you know, easy to forget sometimes. Just forget all the... There are so many different things in this game. Like, it's one of its uh, strong points and simultaneously one of its... Mm, we'll say more challenging elements is that there are so many different things going on. It can be difficult to remember all of the the vast array of details. And I do mean that. I mean, it's there are a lot of different details and things going on. Let's come through this way first. I guess we're going to wrap around, so... Yeah, okay, we can check this one out. Oh yeah, I just, I don't know, sometimes I forget that there's an option to do X, Y, Z, that when you do this, that, the other thing, all these different things, because there really and truly are so many things going on with this game. Didn't mean to do that, my bad. I guess it was empty, because otherwise we would have a backpack left behind. And I know someone's going to say you're not checking behind the paintings. I know. I don't feel like it, quite simply. Which is probably silly in the grand scheme of things, but I don't know. It's one less thing to juggle in terms of inventory, because then I don't have to deal with broken glass. Which I suppose wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing to have. We can turn, turn it into something else, but um, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't want to deal with it. It's that simple. Come on. Hmm. 
Who puts an uneaten can of food in the trash compactor? That's weird. That's also weird. I don't know if that guy did that, but uh, whatever. Let's go downstairs. I thought I saw movement. I thought I saw movement. Scrap gloves are not really going to be worth anything, so we'll probably scrap those. No pun intended or anything. Okay. Kabong! There was some sort of thing in there. I didn't see if we already... Grandpa's learning elixir recipe. Oh, we are so going to go make some of that crap. You have no idea. I've been dying for that. Well, not literally, but you know what I mean. I have been eagerly anticipating finding the recipe because I do want to re-roll, I think. I don't know to what, but I want to re-roll. Ideally, I don't want to re-roll to the same thing we're doing in the other series because that'd be kind of silly. Although, that would be kind of funny. But, um... Yeah. Okay. Let's put that guy down right there. Ah, oh, man, that... Nope. Try that again. Scrap. Ah, oh, man, that makes me so happy to see that. Uh, yeah, that's just not really worth anything. We'll get rid of a tier 3 wrench. I know. We could sell the wrench for good money, that sort of thing. Blah, blah, blah. Hi. Where'd you come from? Thank you, turret. Earning your paycheck today. This is going to be a pretty decent POI for what I'm looking for here. Trying to find us some cement. Yeah. This is a pretty decent one. We're going to go home with a much better stash now. I'm pretty pleased by that. I I'm not going to break that guy down. There's no need to do that. Steel fire axe. Okay. Uh, but we will break this bench down. Because we will get some forged iron out of it, right? That's worth it to me. That's worth the time. That's worth the the few seconds. Let's get this guy ready because we're going to have some unfriendlies over here. Let's just not even mince our words. They are not going to be friendly. Okay. Although, it's funny. You know, saying that, I don't know why that just kind of jogged the thought. But I had the thought the other day. What's the deal with the Demolisher zombies? They don't fit into the game as far as I'm concerned. I can never really stop to think about that, but then after facing them, uh, what did I just do? I, I don't want to drop that. That's dumb. They don't make any sense to me. Like, seriously, they don't make any sense. Um, let's back this guy up because those ladies are going to break through the pipe momentarily I think I think they are oh yeah they, well, I don't know what she's doing but the demolisher zombies make no sense they are inconsistent with the rest of the zombies in the game now, you can make the argument that the police officer zombie is inconsistent with the rest of the zombies in the game. And I don't necessarily disagree with that. But that one is... Well, that one's been around forever. It's it's an established zombie. It's part of the regular game. But do you know what I'm getting at? The demolisher zombies carry around a bomb... The police officer zombies just explode when they are destroyed. They don't explode because they're carrying explosives. They explode because whatever they last ate gave them massive indigestion. I don't know. I, I don't pretend to know why they explode. I don't think that's ever been explained because this game really doesn't have any lore. But... Why do the Demolisher Zombies have explosives on them? I 
suppose one could say it's they were some sort of uh, kamikaze type characters before whatever happened happened before the zombie outbreak but it just doesn't make any sense to me huh okay I'll take all that it just it sticks out to me as not being consistent with everything else that's going on in this game and I just find that a little disconcerting is all like it just it's weird I don't know maybe there's maybe someone Joel posted something somewhere about why and it just explains everything and maybe I'm just not supposed to ask questions but I can't help but wonder why it kind of no when I had that realization it, it kind of uh, dampened my enthusiasm for him a little bit honestly so it's kind of like well this is weird now that I think about it why are they like this I don't know I, I must be missing something, but if I am, I, I don't know what that is. We do still have some room in the truck, right? Not much. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we can probably take that shotgun, modify you, and put that laser sight on there. That'll free up an inventory slot. Perfect. Steel fire axe, you can go in there and... Some of these things we do already have in there, so this will just, of course, stack without any problem. Not a big deal. Others, maybe not as much. Arrows, bow, whatever. Probably just get rid of that bow. It doesn't really matter. Forged iron, glass jars, gunpowder, muffle connector mod. We can put that in there. Probably have something we could throw that on, like the, the iron glove right there. Actually, you know what? You know what? We can take that back because someone was an idiot and let the armor get destroyed or something, I guess. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take that. We're going to use that connector because we can put that right on that guy. There we go. Okay, perfect. Probably need to make some more mods for that armor. I'm going to say if the mailbox is unchecked, we have not been in here. So let's go circle around the house. Okay, we have a subterranean entry, it looks like. I'm good with that. This one looks vaguely familiar. I want to say there's something about the car being parked in the way that rings a bell for me. Hi. i to be careful about where I put that. I don't know. I don't know what would happen if I put it over here. Would it fall through the driveway? I, I don't know. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I do mean don't put those turrets on slopes. Bad things happen. Namely, they fall through them. Look at that. Steel sledge. Man, do we have a quality six one? I don't remember. I mean, part of me is like, yeah, let's start using that. But then I just said, I don't want to do what we're doing in the other series. So that would be doing what we're doing in the other series. So no, baseball bat, I'm good with. I'm enjoying the baseball bat anyway. It's a little faster than the sledgehammer. And uh, these days I do find I like faster weapons generally. That was one of the reasons I always liked the machete. But the machete these days, I just am not a fan of it. I don't know what the deal is, but I just don't like it. I don't like the machete. It's just not for me. Probably forgot to destroy some doors on the last go around, but that's fine. Uh, put it down. I might want to invest in turrets, though, just because. Even though, uh, I guess, well... If you haven't seen the other series, I'm just, I'll, I'll just say, go check out the other series. It's, there's some good stuff going on in it. Can I find, there we go. Look at that, 33 gunpowder, not bad. I mean, we don't really need gunpowder, so that's not really a, a particularly great find for us here. But hey, you know what? 
gunpowder can be turned into ammunition or explosives. I I don't know. I kind of think maybe we should play with explosives a little more. Pipe bombs, grenades, etc. Okay, what do we have going on in here? This is the front door where we can get one more of that stuff. What do you break down into? Huh. I haven't done that in a while, so I totally forgot that's what it broke down into. Good to know. Should have left the turret. I... I would argue I didn't miss that one, but I did. That's fine. I would argue it. I'd be wrong, but I would argue it. That's the thing. See, I recognize that I'd be wrong, but I still want to argue it. Nope. I'm just going to nope right out of there. You know what? Turret on the table. Uh, don't break the door because I want the brass. Bone turret. We're gonna go back to that. I just wanted to hit this room first. Okay, doors locked. We're not unlocking those kinds because that just takes too long. Hmm, I thought I heard someone like dropping from a, a ceiling or something. Let's go ahead and put that guy right there. It is now zombie walk o'clock. I didn't even realize we were getting close to that time of day. Time goes quickly in this series. <laughs> time goes quickly. Time keeps on ticking into the future. Time keeps on slipping. Slipping. Hmm. Maybe it's both. I don't remember. Anyway, I'm just going to punch a wall because I can. And I'm angry. I'm angry! Come on in, Zoms. While you guys are meandering over here. I don't know if the baseball bat hits multiples. That's the one advantage, or uh, one of the things I really do like a lot about the sledgehammer. I don't know if the baseball bat hits multiples at once. Because we're using... Uh, we're not even using that. Really? Clubs and bats. Uh, blah, blah, blah. More damage stuns. Power attacks. Lots more damage. Wow. We should be specking into this. Noted. I'm going to go ahead and pop one of these guys right quick. Just to kind of top off the health a little bit. We'll go ahead and eat a little food, drink a little water. Where are you going to? So we've already been over here, right? Oh, interesting. Okay. I do like going through the POIs as it's intended, if, if I can. Which usually you can't, because that's how it's intended. I don't know. The progression is usually pretty interesting and uh, well thought through. And sometimes delightfully surprising. Yes, I just used a lot of words there. You are not wrong. Let's get our turret ready to go. We're going to drop this guy. Oh. Okay. Unneeded. Unnecessary turret, although... It's kind of annoying way to end this one. I don't think I like that very much. Uh, brass, scrap that. Open this guy up, scrap that, scrap that, uh, scrap that, take the rest. Muni box. Come on, Muni box. You are our only hope. Ah, uh, another good smug. We're going to go back with two quality six smugs and a couple pieces of steel. I'm glad to see that. Uh, I guess we could. That takes forever. What about this guy? Oh, that's right. That one's active, so uh, I don't want to do that. All right. Minor details. That means I have to... 
Ähm. Mhm. 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 Get rid of that. And that. And then theoretically we can get out. Okay, can I grab the frame? No? Okay. Okay, well, that's that's not too bad. I mean Where are you truck? You're that way. I might want to leave as such. Okay, perfect. That wasn't too bad. I think the truck is probably stuffed to the gills at this point. Yes, it is. And so are we. I guess we could take a couple of these things here. You know, we could drop uh, the sledgehammer in there and a snug in there. I don't know. I was just looking to see. Do we have enough that we could really take a trip back to the trader to resell a bunch of things? I don't really think so. Um, it's not really looking like it's going to get a whole lot out of out of doing that. Now we don't even have any more room in there because we stacked up on all the ammo. That's excellent. That is excellent. Wow, look at that. We even have quite a few more shotgun shells than what we left with initially. That's pretty good. I'm always happy whenever we can leave with, uh, you know, some ammo and return with even more than what we left with. Like, not necessarily leave with a whole stack. I think at this time we did leave with a whole stack, but that's what I mean. Like, you know, you leave with, uh, I don't know, say uh, 75, and you can return with 100 or 150 or something like that. That's just awesome. That makes me happy because, you know, that's, that's efficiency right there. We're not using all of our firearm equipment. We can just, you know, use a baseball bat. Or, I guess the turret is kind of a firearm in a sense, but... Since it's using just regular metal for its ammunition, I don't really sweat that one. And in the context of what we're talking about, I don't really count it. Because we have tons of metal, and as we go through these POIs, especially if you stop and tear down things like beds and just whatever random stuff you run into, you end up with uh, a fair amount of extra metal. So I'm, I'm kind of fine with that. It's not a big deal. It works for me. On that note, I'm going to ask you to go check out patreon.com slash KIC gaming. Think about signing up. Would appreciate if you would do that. And I will catch you on the next video, which will be in a little while because it's going to take a long time for me to unload all this stuff. And I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. See you later.